Hi YouTube friends, it's Anna de Paladin. Today I'm making a video that to some extent I had some doubts about whether I should make it at this point. Which has to do with the fact that it's really, um, yeah, the topic that I'm working through at the moment. Um, it's a very um, relevant topic for me. And sometimes I tend to feel like I would rather have a topic completely processed for myself and be completely experienced in something, be like an expert on something before I feel like I would be ready to share it with other people. Um, but the problem with that is that if I actually followed that idea, I would never do anything. I would never post anything because um, I'm so critical of myself that I never get to that point uh, where I feel like a complete expert. I never have with anything, to be honest. Um, so instead, um, yeah, I'm going to focus on sharing my authentic experience with you in the hope that it may benefit other people. <clears throat> so, yeah, I've been going through a really tough time. Again, I'm not completely sure how much I should share about that. Um, but yeah, I've been going through a breakup and realizing some things about myself. And that has led me to this topic we are talking about today. Um, yeah, so it's very close to my heart. And um, yeah, I really, I really had some strong realizations of how to work with this stuff. And I also realized that I wish someone else would have told me sooner um, how this works so that earlier on in my life I could have worked on this. And I don't think um, anyone has ever posted a guide uh, on how to increase um, your self-worth uh, like this. So yeah, I feel like it's important for me to share that, uh, the insights that I gained in my process. So <coughs> an introduction in general is that INFJs, they really struggle with the problem that they have low self-worth. It's their number one issue in life, which is preventing them from happiness, I guess. Um, you know, we can be so, we can be so dark about that, about how we see ourselves and we can really look for other people to validate us to tell us that we're worth something because we naturally don't feel like uh, we are like rationally i can really think like yeah why would other people be better than me um, but still on an emotional or more subconscious level i guess unconscious level if we want to <laughs> uh, use the right union term um yeah, I will always, or I've always felt uh, less than other people. Um, so essentially, like, my feelings and my opinions didn't matter as much as other people's. Um, that I wasn't worth people's friendship, perhaps. Um, you know, like, why would anybody like me? I'm not that special. That's... A typical dark INFJ thought. Um, or the same with why would anyone watch my YouTube channel because I'm not that interesting to listen to. It's always about value. Um, I am not of value enough. Other people are worth more than me. And as you can imagine, this is really, really a toxic way of thinking um, that's like basically ridiculous. Also, if I think about it, it's really just ridiculous, if you ask me. And also not true at all. 
Um, but it's really hard to change these thoughts, thought patterns, or at least I always thought that was the case. And I think it's also really necessary that you get to a point of realization where you feel the urgency to change uh, your own thought patterns because it does take effort. And me personally, I have come to that point. And so I would really like to share what my process is in that. So um, what is this about? Let me word that uh, a little bit clearer. It's about increasing your feeling of self-worth, which is just super, super important. And it's also connected to self-love in a way, although that's a bit more fake, if you ask me. Um, it's about increasing your self-worth again. Um, so imagine you are an INFJ or maybe another type that has low self-worth. This advice is specifically for INFJs because I'm talking about my experience of what works for me. But I think yeah, maybe other types might find value in it as well. So how do you change it? How do you increase your own feeling of self-worth? First of all, you have to become aware of your thought patterns because um, basically this is how it starts. Um, at least in myself, I noticed suddenly these thought patterns that I had about myself. Um, and the kind of thoughts we should be looking for are like, um, it doesn't really matter what I feel. Um, or like if there's a specific feeling coming up, you just say to it, it doesn't really matter, whatever. Uh, I'll just get over it. Um, I'm probably wrong, so I won't say anything. Uh, the other person is so much smarter than me, so I'll just stay quiet and agree with them. Um, or how I feel doesn't matter that much, or other people won't care about that. So, yeah. These are thoughts that INFJs have on a regular basis. I, I dare say that. Um, and so it's these thoughts that you need to watch out for, that you need to identify. And when you notice such a thought um, or thought pattern or feeling, you have to stop. And you need to start listening to yourself. So like stop, stop, stop dismissing at once. Um, take a break and listen to yourself. What am I feeling right now? And um, what would be the best way to word it? And really take that seriously. Start to take yourself seriously, um, what your feelings are telling you. Um, opinions is another uh, aspect of this. It's also, if you have an opinion, start to take your opinion seriously because your opinion matters to you. Um, okay, so you take your feelings and your opinions seriously and you also start uh, acting in accordance with them immediately. Um, I would like to dive a bit deeper into the two aspects of this that I've experienced which is feelings and opinions. So let's dive a bit deeper into feelings, how that works. Um, so we INFJs, we feel like what we feel doesn't matter. We don't take our feelings seriously. But if you want to increase your feeling of self-worth, you will take your feelings seriously from now on. That's a problem, a promise you have to make to yourself. Basically, it's as simple as that. You need to promise to yourself you will take your feelings seriously and you will also do it and act in accordance with what you're feeling. Um, so <clears throat> part of this process um, 
is that you need to become more aware of what you're feeling. And what will help you with that is uh, to increase your vocabulary on uh, feelings and emotions. And I have a book recommendation for that, um, which is The Atlas of the Heart by Brene Brown. That's a book that I've read recently that's really about feelings and understanding feelings deeper and the meaning of them. Also, um, I recommend using um, a list of emotions and feelings. Um, and they, they make uh, lists like these in nonviolent communication because in nonviolent communication, communicating your emotions is a very important part of that. And they are like really, they delve really deeply into naming uh, your emotions. So <clears throat> I have an actual practice for this, for becoming more aware of your feelings and taking your feelings seriously. It's a practice that I do every day um, recently. Uh, the idea is that in moments throughout the day, you take a moment to reflect inwards and see what you're feeling in that very moment. And then try to look for the perfect word that describes it best. It could also be like two or three words. It doesn't matter. You just have to find the perfect one that fits. And I do recommend you to... Uh, use such a list as I mentioned um, for that, uh, to practice that. I will put these lists in the description for you. Um, yeah, so by naming your feelings in different moments, you can in increase your awareness of your feelings. And by paying attention to your feelings, you are automatically taking them more seriously and practicing doing that. So let get, let's get a bit more deep into the topic of opinions, taking your opinions seriously, because this is also an issue that's part of it, of self-worth for INFJs. Um, so what's the issue? The issue is sometimes we feel like our opinion doesn't matter that much, that other people don't care to hear it, and that perhaps other people are smarter, um, that we are probably wrong, that we say stupid things that other people are not interested to hear. And that's, of course, BS. Um, especially because INFJs, they have this really strong introverted thinking. Well, it's not strong, but at least it's, it's very pure and can really get to the core of things. Um, so again, the point is here to take your opinion, your own opinion, very seriously. Um, like it doesn't matter if you are afraid that you are wrong or if you think that other people know better or other people are not interested. It's just your duty towards yourself to speak out your opinion, let your voice be heard. And it, it shouldn't be about being right. In my opinion, that's not what your focus should be on. Um, what really helps um, if you're afraid to be wrong is to focus on a kind of humility. Um, and what I mean by that is you are really um, open to changing your mind in a conversation. Whenever you speak an opinion or a point of view, um, you do it with the idea in mind that this is how you see the truth at that given moment with the information you have. And, you know, you speak it out for the very reason of seeing if it, yeah, if it's actually worth something, if it is actually true, because by speaking it, by speaking it out, you can get the input of other people and potentially um, like polish that theory by getting more input, or you can, uh, you know, change your mind because you realized you were missing some information and, you know, your opinion changed. And I think other people don't mind you 
uh, saying things that are wrong, as long as you are also, uh, you know, a good listener in that situation and willing to change your mind. That's something that other people usually really appreciate in others. Um, yeah, so ask questions. Um, yeah, also if your whole um, your whole attitude should be like, um, I want to share my ideas um, because they are unique. They are my voice, what I'm here uh, to bring to the world. And I want to bring that into expression. Um, but I, I want to be in a conversation with people. And um, yeah, I'm also happy to change my mind. And I think it's awesome if you can uh, look at it like that. And if you never spoke your opinion because you thought it wasn't worth anything or people wouldn't value it, you're really missing out on, uh, you know, letting your voice be heard. And um, yeah, also um, continuing in your own process of thought because you really need other people to uh, yeah, have new input and get better in your thinking and in your opinions. So if you approach it like that, um, I think that can really help um, in your feeling of self-worth in expressing your opinions. Um, you know, I really shared a lot with you in a short video. So I will repeat a little bit the important things that I've mentioned. So First of all, start, take, start taking your own feelings seriously. Express them uh, to yourself, express them to other people as well. You do have to be careful that you are not um, falling into blaming other people because, you know, we are not so practiced in expressing what we feel in general. That's not something that... Uh, has been taught to us in general. So sometimes we think that something we say is an emotion, but it's really blaming or something else. So, you know, that's also really something to practice, but speak it out to people and keep it really close to yourself. And uh, yeah, take yourself seriously. Do it with discipline. It doesn't matter if, um, if it's hard or if you feel resistance, just do it because you know it matters because you know it matters <clears throat> and again about the opinions um yeah realize that your opinion matters as well and speak it out ask questions have the uh, attitude of being willing to change your mind uh, wanting to be in a conversation and again take your opinion seriously um I do realize that, like I said in the beginning, there's a feeling of urgency that's necessary for going through this process. Um, but with what I went through recently in life, I really did feel this urgency and I am noticing that it's really just possible to change this quite e instantly. It's, it's pretty crazy, but Especially if you're an INFJ with the strong willpower that we have, you have um, the ability to change your behavior if that's what you want. Um, yeah, so I'm already noticing a lot of difference for myself with this realization, with this practice. And I wanted to share that with you. Again, um, yeah, I recommend some resources to help you with this. I will put them in the comment section. There's also another book that I want to mention that helped me out. It's specifically for women who struggle with low uh, self-worth, and that's Worthy Woman by Zach Rohde, which is specifically about how feelings of low self-worth can be um, devastating for your relationship or destructive for your relationship. And it also tells you how to... Um, yeah, do things differently in that area. Um, so I know this was quite a heavy video, a lot of information, 
a lot of personal stuff shared as well. But after all, uh, being personal, being authentic is what I'm all about with this channel. So I hope you found value in this video. If you did, please give it a like, subscribe <coughs> and comment if you have anything that you would like to share with me or other people. Um, yeah, doing all that stuff really helps me out to uh, yeah, promote my channel. But also I really love hearing from you in general. So thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye.